Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have a question. I wanted to understand if books play a role in success in the success of a front-end developer. What sorts of books would one choose to read in order to to reshape your own mindset through, uh, through process or develop a high degree of communication skills that uh, that will help in the overall growth of that person as a front-end developer. Uh, well, if my understanding of your question, question is correct, I would guess that you're asking me if I can recommend any books that's going to help you think in the right way to be a, so, a front-end developer. Uh, the thing is, I... I'm going to do the Yoda thing here, uh, or whatever we might call it, and just say that I don't think that you're ready. You're not ready for the power yet, dude. You see, uh, the thing is, there are really no books, at least in my opinion, I've never seen any source of information in the front-end community that is reliable in terms of giving you the right mindset around front-end development because I've never actually met more than a handful of front-end developers who are worth anything apart from of course the skills that they have so this is the thing that I argue I argue that in the front-end community you have an enormous amount of, amount of people who have a mid-level understanding of front-end development and for me a mid-level developer is the person who has learned how to, to just use the tools. You can produce results. If somebody asks you to be, build something, you know how to build it. That's it. And the difference between that and being a senior developer is that you have a much bigger and more mature picture of what is actually entailed in making whatever you build a success. That is what a senior developer is about. A senior developer has the experience and the holistic picture to understand how to make good decisions and what type of practices to adopt for a project in order to make it a, a practically a guaranteed success. That is not something that there is anything at all in front and about. There's a lot of that stuff going on if you look into things such as, well, to some to some degree, back end work. But I would say that even in some cases, it's hard to find it. Depending on the community in the back end uh, languages as well, uh, it's easier to find it in infrastructure type of things as well. But overall, I think that the general best place to find information about this is in quote unquote just regular so like generic software de so software development books and in some cases actually management types of books and so forth it's really really hard to pinpoint just one single piece of literature the literature that's going to help you and i don't want to steer you down that road uh, that road because i have had enough people come to me now and i've worked with enough junior developers and i used to be like this guys i was exactly the same where you get to a point where you just barely now can produce results. You've just, and this is when it happens. You start going from super scared to like just having to and looking everything up all the time, and now you kind of remember that yeah, I'm supposed to. I mean, use Redux or whatever, right? If I'm building an Angular a React application. And now all of a sudden you get a little bit of confidence and now of course as the ambitious person that you are, which is a very good thing, uh, you're going to try to figure out, okay, but what's the next thing for me? How can I get even better now? How can I make myself for a success? And this is when you come to people like myself and people who are vastly more experienced than I am and start asking questions such as design patterns. Frederick, what's that about? How, how can I start using that in my code and so forth? At microservices, is that the thing? Or like, should I be, do, be using that and so forth? And all of these things I'm trying to answer for you uh, in each video that I make every single day. But what I don't want is to just give you a, a set of rules and principles 
is that I know that you're not going to understand because you're mo you're not going to because I can very easily say to you that well the secret to being a senior front-end developer is to understand how to deal with theming and understand how to deal with process management between the UI like the the designers and the developers so you need to learn about uh, design systems. I can easily say that because everything underneath I expect you to already know if you're already at the point where you're trying to get to understand how to think about front-end because now that then you should have already learned all the tools of the trade and like you know, responsive design and like all of this stuff you kind of already should know that but if, if it is a mindset that you're after I'm, I'm gonna give you the dirty secret there is practically no front-end developer who has any value above being able to produce the UI level, like the UI, like literally, they uh, they are, I, I, I as I've said in other videos, I don't think I've ever really met a true senior front-end developer. I have absolutely seen a lot of experts who are really, really good at specific small things, such as performance, as an example, but I've never seen anybody who is, uh, who can consistently cre create a, uh, like where I feel like yeah this person has uh, if we hire them the front-end code is just gonna be fine as n I've never seen it because the problem uh, with front-end development is that it is literally so immature that we basically need to wait it out at least from my perspective we, we need to educate the entire industry over most likely years to be better at this thing because that's the thing that the back-end developers have had they've had more time to develop a community and like practices and values and uh, so forth and front-end is basically the wild west everybody kind of just do, does whatever they fuck they want and and sometimes it works out and a lot of times it doesn't work out and the people who truly are even like i would say approaching senior level experiences in the front-end space are actually full stack developers who have understood that a lot of the practices around good coding standards and good uh, methods of securing the success of a project that you find in backend can actually be applied to front-end as well. You just have to think a little bit differently about it. But ultimately, they usually, at least in my experience, drown out in all of the other developers who just kind of do whatever and don't really think so much about this stuff because there's really no, requ as, as I said, there's not, it's not part of their education to think about front-end most of the time. And even if when they're educating themselves and trying to be front-end developers, there, the, the, this, the, there is nothing in terms of sources of information where they can just hold up a book and say, this book here made the difference for me between being a mid-level and a senior front-end developer because there is no such content, practically. So what I want you to take away from this is that I believe that there is no such thing at this point as anything that's going to help you get the right mindset about front-end. I think that the best thing for you is to go through it uh, as most are most of the people who are approaching expertise or like a senior type of mindset around front-end development and that is to basically just practice practice a lot in an environment where it really reflects the sort of work challenges that you will have in a real IT company so ideally working a team with multiple stakeholders and with multiple like other developers and I promise you you're gonna be surprised at how fast all of these problems that I've to told you about is going to start piling up because it's really easy when you're really good and you're just by yourself to keep something sort of clean it gets much harder when you have many people who are from varying different skill levels and how to structure things like how are you going to enforce standards how are you going to synchronize different versions of packages and make sure that everybody's following the same uh, it's a shit show it's a complete shit show especially when you don't have a base layer of education within those people it's easy to get people to understand how to use object-oriented programming for example in comparison because it's part of their foundation education but front-end not so much everybody kind of just learns it by themselves and that creates the wild west so what I think that you should do is to just practice uh, in an envi this sort of environment but also make sure that you're paying attention keep your ear to the ground and try to see the pattern try to understand what are the problems and take it from there and I promise you the day you get to say, go from saying, Frederick, what can I l read in order to be improve my mindset? To in, when you're not asking me that question, you're instead asking Frederick, how can I 
get all of my like I have all these problems at work who are that are front end related how can I solve those problems because it's oh, it's usually an issue with my coworkers or like we we can't align when you're asking a I'm sorry to say it, a more mature question then I think you're ready for the real answer to the to 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 your foundation question here and I promise you I will make a video about that at that time have a great day